Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to customize your web map display within the Story Maps Builder. So once you've got your web map uploaded and your um, side panel text complete, you may want to set your web map to better fit what you're describing within your side panel. For example, you may want your web map to open up in a different range of view. So to do so, you're going to go to the Edit button, and when you click on that, um, you're going to want to go to main stage. And in the main stage, you'll see that you have these different options to do a custom location, custom content, custom pop-ups. So we'll start with custom location. So to configure that, you're simply going to click on that, and it'll open this up, and you pan in to where you want to show. So if I'm focusing just on the falls of St. Anthony, I might want to zoom into that area of Minneapolis. So here now, you can see it's much more focused in on that content. Simply save that location, and it should automatically pop up there. You may also want to customize your content. So if I click on Custom Configuration, you'll see the different layers that are part of this um, web map. And so let's say if I want to take out these transmission lines, I can. So then if I click on that and toggle it off, you'll see it'll only be showing these two points. So now I could save that. Now let's say I also want a pop-up to pop up automatically uh, when you go to a certain uh, section of the map. So now if I click on custom configuration and then um, click on one of these points here, you'll see it'll bring up the pop-up there. Let's adjust it to what I want to show. And once I have that, click Save Pop-up Configuration. And now we're going to go and save all of these. And now you'll notice if I go to another section and then go back, it'll automatically bring up that specific view with that pop-up pulled up. You may also wish to add some further customization to your web map. So if I go back to the edit button and to the main stage, you'll see I also have the um, option to add extras here. Um, and those can include an overview map, which I'm going to click for now, um, a legend, and then also an address and place and feature finder. Um, you also will want to add some alternative text um, describing what's going on in your map, as this will improve your map's accessibility. So I'm just going to type a simple description here. All right, so now if I click Save on those changes, it'll bring it up, and you'll see I have the over map view, overview map here, which will give you um, a wider view of what's going on in the area. Um, not loading fully right now, um, but you can also uh, toggle that to go off and not come on automatically by default. Um, also, you have the legend up here, um, which will tell you what the different points on the map mean. So that will correspond directly to the layer you're using um, and the attributes that you're choosing to distinguish by. Um, with this as well, you can um, choose for it to open by default. The last thing I added here was a location finder. So if I click on this search thing, you'll see that I can look up different locations. So let's say if I wanted to um, look up Minneapolis, if I wandered off the map a ways, I can. It should take me right there. All right. So those are all the different um, customizations that you can do within the builder. Um, so yeah, thanks.